I'm Kiaris Henry. I'm the president of Alumni Broadcasting Association. Joining me today is Representative Lakeisha Bosley. Can you introduce yourself to the people and let the people know who you are? So, I am Lakeisha Bosley. I am the state representative for the 79th district. I feel like Chance the Rapper every time I say it, 79, 79. <laughs> Um, but, you know, I was elected in 2018 at 24. I am 29 now. Um, just Tuesday, uh, August 2nd of 2022, I've got elected, re-elected for my third term, um, the primary election. I was unopposed, so praise God for that, to God be the glory. Um, you know, I'm just a young woman from the city of St. Louis, from Hyde Park. Um, I've lived there my entire life, you know, so it's been a, a heartbreak now that I had to move to Midtown, um, but I'm still north side to the, to the day I die. <laughs> Um, you know, I graduated from Cartner Ritter because you know that's a S, you know that's a St. Louis question. I, what high school did yep, you go to? Always, always. <laughs> I went to Cartner Ritter College Prep. Um, I'm also a a student, a peer, and a product of St. Louis Public School. Um, I came from Shaw Visual and Performing Arts as well as Car Lane. You know. Let's go, oh, Jack. Okay, Look, okay. I'm a purple, purple heart till I die. You know, listen. <laughs> um, you know, I'm invested in the city. You know, people can talk about, you know, the differences of what it means to be a St. Louisan. But I believe everything about St. Louis is enduring perseverance and the lion's heart. Because listen, there's nothing meek about a St. Louisan, and we ain't got That's time true. for that. That's true. Yes. That's true. <laughs> so today we're just. I just wanted to bring you on to just talk about your involvement with Alumni Broadcasting Association. So if you can tell me just how you heard about us yes. and then we'll announce to everyone what we have in store. I'm excited for both, okay. Um, B. Marcel actually told me about you. Um, she is the CEO, founder, nonprofit organization, Jules Inc. Mm -hmm. um, so her She's and I amazing. met, listen, like. <laughs> we met on a humbug. We had a very, very good conversation and I was like, you know, I appreciate women who are doing the work. And she is doing the work mentoring young girls from across the nation, yes. you know what I mean? Um, especially at our types of schools, at HBCUs. And I think that it's important for us to pour into those. Uh, and then she told me about you and I was like, let me know, <laughs> listen, what the, what, give me the information, let me know what the information is and let's see if we can get some funding because as a, you know, like I said, a product of St. Louis Public Schools, I think it's important for us to pour back into our youth and yeah. express to them, like you don't have to have the traditional kind of, uh, journey. You mm -hmm. don't have to do a four year university. Like even if you decide to do that, it's always good to have a trade. Yes. So when you go to a four year, you're not patting your pockets, it's like trying oh. to figure out where the coin is coming from. Um, so when she told me, I was like, let's do it. Let's yeah. let's let let's get introduced. Let me see what we can do so that I can make sure that I pour into those in my community, especially people who look like me who come from where I come from. Right. Thank yeah. you. And we greatly appreciate it. So ABA was founded in 2017. Mm -hmm. So it was all out of a labor of love with our mentors, Kevin Pulley and Charles Murphy. And they were like, we want to do something. And we're, we're just a group of alums. And we're like, yeah. we still love this. We still love doing this. I don't know how to get a job in this field without like some kind of training. You have to have training, but they don't want to let you exactly. into the field without training. Yeah. So it was a group, we started off as a group of four alums that had just graduated and we were like, okay, let's do this. Right. Let's kind of pave the way and make our own way so that when alums graduate, they can have another avenue, exactly what you said, that isn't sports or academics exactly. or whatever the case may be. If you're passionate about any kind of media form, I, I'm a product of SLPS. Yeah. I got a scholarship to Lindenwood to go film football. Oh, that's amazing. Like, and I, out of the whole football team, I was the only person <laughs> that received a scholarship, a football scholarship Absolutely. for media production. So be, again, back to be Marcel, just amazing and the yeah. pouring of her energy into so many of the young adults that we have Absolutely. Now. But 
there is a scholars man yes we yes. gotta give them like a, we gotta give them the fruit i mean mm -hmm. our our ancestors planted the seeds for so long and they and we've been watering them and they've been watered from generation to generation and now it's time for us to take a part of that fruit yes. and yield from that fruit and replant those seeds so in planting those seeds we got to plant back into the youth like they deserve completely, it completely they deserve and all of it that is our goal is <laughs> going into those schools and like letting them hey you can do this you can do this oh you like using your phone and the TikTok and all that stuff. Let me show you. We started on TikTok. I am terrible and I am trying. So if anybody's out there, please come teach me. I need help. Same. I'm, I'm on that boat too because I'm like, I do all the other apps, the TikTok. I be like, the TikTok? And they're like, no, it's not they called call the me TikTok. Old because it's Facebook. I'm like, Facebook is where it's at. Yes. And everybody's like, yeah, yeah you, but you know. It's time to graduate. That's like, that's like the MySpace, Space, you yes. know, Black Planet of my life. That's where I'm at, you know, it's cool. Yes, so uh, <laughs> as a big announcement to everyone, I do want to just thank you and I will let you let the world know what you're doing for Alumni Broadcasting Association. And you just found out about us. And like, yes. the she just moved so fast. She moved so fast, like she, I sent, she's, you sent me an email yes. and I responded and then it was just like, all right, we got this for you. And then it just, it just went so fast. So just tell everyone what happened. Well, you know, to God be the glory, as I said earlier, um, I am so excited um, to be a part of assuring that we've got $100,000 for the Alumni Broadcasting Association. So that is funding that is coming directly back home to our youth to help them do whatever it is in all media um, so that they can learn, you know, it's different avenues like you, like someone's here recording production for us right now. And it could be you, you could be recording for Oprah, you could be doing everything. Okay. And and, you know, this is an opportunity for, you know, the state and for uh, us as elected leaders to pour back into you, not just, you know, lip service, but also putting our money where our mouth is. Right. So I am excited for this and I can't wait to see you all out there doing all of the greatnesses. Well, I just want to thank you, my students, my mentees, the, the people that have came and gone. Just thank you for believing in us yeah. and then just taking the step. Like, it's one thing to say it, but you... Again, it moved, it happened so fast. She was like, all right, let's do this right now. Like, hey, it was fast. It's, I'm gonna fight for it. Right, right. We're and gonna fight for each other. So as soon as she told me <laughs> and you and I had a conversation and then I saw you, I said, it's over with. Like, it's done. We're gonna, like, we do we're gonna it. get we're it done. This. As they say, it was no cap. <laughs> I'm looking at you because <laughs> I don't good. know. I'm I'm lost. I'm not hip yet. I'm still, they, they teach me stuff too when hey, I go. My nephews have taught me that they are always like cap, cap. So now I'm like, no oh, yeah. cap. It's, because it's, that means that this is the truth. Oh, okay. Yes. Now I learned something new. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yes, I just had a 29, almost 30 year old moment here. It's fine. It's like, we got this, we got this. But still, I just want to thank you for everything that you've done for us and just you have no idea how much this is going to help us because we've been we've been grinding it out since 2017 and just like hey we're going to figure it out and we'll just figure it out and giving these students opportunities to not only do what they're passionate about but get paid exactly what they deserve exactly. to do like this is a skill as well yes. like everyone we're going to school we're doing the training we're doing all of this and you should be paid as such absolutely so i just want to say thank you so no, much i appreciate you for doing this you yes. know you could have picked anything to do in your life and you decided to pour back into our kids. Mm -hmm. I'm not a mom yet, but I have nieces and nephews. And the fact that one day my niece or my nephew may say, hey, I, I wanna learn media production and I know that there is a good person out mm -hmm. there who is ready and eager to pour into them, to teach them all that you know, and hoping you know that they surpass you in life. And, like, and I think that's important as a mentor mm -hmm. that you want your mentees to evolve and come back and pour back into you. Mm -hmm. So I thank you for doing the work thank and you. thank you for giving them light at the end of a tunnel where we see sometimes on news every day, yeah. social media, we see a lot of darkness when it comes to us, but there is light here and we yes. have light and you are one of those. So I yes. appreciate you. Yes, I'm not yes. gonna cry, Ooh. not gonna cry, not gonna cry. Yeah, girl, we got all the tears. <laughs>
if people wanted to find out more information about you or get in contact with you, how can they do that? Okay, so as I said, I'm new to socials. Uh, well, I'm not new to social. I'm just not on TikTok. The, um, the TikTok. So I have Instagram at Team Bosley Mo Seven Nine. So that's at Team B as in Boy. Look at the horns outside. O S L E Y M O the number seven nine and the same thing goes for Twitter as well as Facebook. You can look me up, Representative Lakeisha Bosley. Um, it's spelt exactly the way it sounds, so La Keisha, like I'm the key to your heart. Uh, so okay. find me, you know, reach out to me. Um, I am eager to learn as well. If you are someone who's not only just looking into media, but also looking into media and political science or some type of political production, please reach out to me. I take on interns all the time. You don't have to travel to Jeff City. We'll do something right here at home. So be not afraid. We will make it work. So reach out. I'm here. Beautiful. beautiful. Yes. <laughs> and if you want to learn more about SLPS, ABA, just follow the information that's on the screen. And I just want to thank you again. Thank you. And then we look forward to talking to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.